never hate someone based or on the basis of what you had. Some of the people you call enemies are people who are supposed to be a blessing to you. An enemy can give you in one day what your friend can never give you in a lifetime. Yes, welcome to the Wisdom Talks. I'm Joe Wisdom. Such a wonderful day for all of us. Behold, this is the day that the Lord has made that we may rejoice and be glad in it. We are grateful that God has given us yet another moment to come and share the wisdom of God. This is what I usually call phronesis. I tell you, phronesis is practical wisdom, real life experiences, things that you experience out there in the marketplace. And we have been talking about relationships. And relationship not basically intimate relationship. Relationship is wide. Relationship, uh, uh, relationship touches. Relationship touches on, on, on how we deal with each other, how we relate with each other. We have brothers, we have sisters, we have colleagues. We have business partners, we have associates. You know, we have, we have college mates. We have, we have all this manner of people around us. We have our bosses. So when we talk about relationships, and that is the episode we did last time, we say that it is important for us to maintain boundaries. It's good to maintain boundaries. Don't overstep the boundaries of your relationships. If, if, if you realize that this person, if, if this is what you share with someone, please don't go beyond because you may hurt that person. If somebody shares with you something in confidence, you say don't break that trust. That is betrayal. If some, uh, and, and we also say that it's good always to tame our expectations so that you don't expect too much from others. We say that if there are nicknames that you used to call each other in school, please, when you find me at my place of work with my employees, with, my, with the people around me, please don't come calling me that nickname. If we are two of us, it's okay. But if there are other parties, you don't need to expose your ignorance. Today's episode is basically a continuation of wisdom for relationships. And today, I want us to look at some nuggets of wisdom that will help us relate with each other more uh, firmly and, uh, and healthy. How can we maintain healthy relationship with other people? I want to give you five points that will help you be able to live healthy with other people. Number one, number one. Never inherit enemies. Never inherit enemies. Stop having a culture of inheriting enemies from your friends. If your friend has got an enemy, that's not your enemy. And perhaps your friend told you a different version of story. If you listen to the other party, you realize that possibly your friend was in the wrong. So, never inherit enemies. Give people a chance. Listen to them. Actually, the Bible commands us to love one another. It even continues to say that love your enemies and even pray for those who persecute you. So, there is no allowance according to kingdom standards to hate each other. Don't inherit enemies. Let me say something about enemies. An enemy can give you in one day what your friend can never give you in a lifetime. Your enemy can give you. It's on, imagine it's only your enemy who can give you the right feedback. Your friend will lie to you because they want to be comfortable with you. They want, to make, they want you to feel good. They are too careful to hurt you. And I've said that here again. But your enemy will tell you, where you na maringo sana. That is correct feedback. Ni ukweli unakuanga na maringo, weeda ujiangalie na ujue mahali maringo inaingia. Mm. Wewe hata hutakangi mutu waonge kwa inyu. Eh, very good. That basically says that you are very, you, you usually dominate the, you know, you don't want to give other people space. Eh, wengine wata kuambia, wewe unajifanyanga mujuaji, unafikirianga sisi hatujue. Okay, sasa wewe unajua. Take that feedback positively. Feedback is the breakfast for champions. 
Anytime you take feedback positively, you grow. But let me tell you something. It is never easy to take correction. It hurts. It hurts to be corrected. But if you can swallow your pride and genuinely interrogate the feedback, you will grow. Let me tell you, in every heap of untruth, there must be an element of truth. Doesn't matter what someone has said, you can get some truth if, in every heap of a lie, in every heap of untruth. And in every heap of truth, there must be an element of untruth. So don't just believe everything that someone says. Interrogate everything. Interrogate things. Put them at our way. Look at things. Look at, look, look at how, uh, if someone tells you, you know there is a muse who, there is a muse who, uh, who, was, who was talking with his waze friend. And uh, this muse, one of the men told this muse, where muse unakuanga mjinga sana? And the mzee took some time, like one minute, and after one minute he said, Nani ukweli. The mzee agreed with that man because he looked at his life and the way he has been behaving and he realized that there are some aspects of foolishness. You know, we say that you are either wise or otherwise. Sometimes you can see the traces of ignorance in your communication. So feedback is very important. Don't just inherit enemies. It's also good to give, you know, yourself a chance to interact with those people. Some of the people you call enemies are people who are supposed to be a blessing to you. Number two, don't just hate people for what you heard about them. Don't just hate people for what you heard about them. There are some people who will misinform you. There are a lot of people who are full of marries. So not everything that people say is true. Don't just believe. Don't just believe what other people tell you about others. Don't hate people because of what you heard about them. Let me tell you something. We are in this electioneering period. Can I surprise you? Anybody who have interacted with possibly the deputy president at a personal level will tell you how good he is. Anybody who have interacted with the former prime minister will tell you how good that person is. At cross range. He said, huyo muzee hata hakuwagi shida na mtu. Huyo muzee hata hakuwagi na manenu. Everybody will tell you how good someone is if they have interacted closely. And if possibly they have interacted closely and they were able and, and, and perhaps they, you know, they, they, they double crossed each other, they become enemies. And it is not you to inherit enemies. We said that in our first point. So don't hate people. Like, some, uh, like for example, you hear people talk about tuliabiangwa, tuliabiwa about this, tuliabiwa about this. Just the other day, the politicians came to us and told us what we told you about someone was wrong, was a lie. And you know, people are fighting because of that. So these people come and lie to us about some people. Then the next time, they come and lie to us about other people and they want us to believe. Never hate someone based or on the basis of what you had. If it's not something that you, ha that you have experienced yourself, don't let other people just inform you, especially when it comes to hating others. That is very important. Number three, be careful to speak what you hear from third parties. Be very careful to speak. If you hear somebody say, like just the other day, uh, someone was reporting to us what was recorded, uh, what was recorded uh, on, 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 on a video. Not actually on a video, on, on, a, on, a, on, a, on Facebook. Someone does a post on Facebook. And people begin circulating it, saying that it is so and so who said, which was a lie. I want you to know, be very careful on what you go saying out there, and you never heard it firsthand. During this season, there is so much rumors, there is so much uh, fire that will be released out there. Please be careful. Become a good news man. 
When Jesus came on the surface of the earth, he said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me to bring good news. So we are supposed to be, you know, we are supposed to be recruited into, into being people who take out good news, not rumors, not heresies. Become a good news person. Become a good news person. Before you say something, before you say anything, would you ask yourself, is this good news? Is this good news? When you are talking, ab when you are talking to someone about a particular topic, you ask, is it, is it good news? When you are talking about something that you heard about someone, you ask yourself, is this good news? Because you are supposed to speak good news, not rumors. That will be tested this time. There are so many things that you have heard about some of the politicians. There's so much that you have heard. Before you share it with someone, ask yourself, is it good news? Before you, are, you forward those messages that you receive on your own WhatsApp, before you even share that which you are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are receiving on Facebook, ask yourself, is this good news? Is it good news? Don't be used of the devil. Don't be used of the devil. To circulate rumors and hatred, that will be tested during this season. Become a good news person. Number four, don't stop doing good just because someone betrayed you. Never stop doing good just because someone betrayed you. The fact that you led someone money and they, they, they blocked you, they never refunded your money, never say that you'll never lead to another person. Always have a hand to extend. Always extend a hand to the other. If someone is needy, please feel free. To share with them. Even if you helped a beggar. And at some point you, you, you thought that they were crippled. At, at some point you found them walking. Because they had basically faked uh, their condition. Never say that you will never help a beggar again. Some of our blessings are tied. When we extend a hand of mercy to others. A hand of love. Extend love to others. The Bible says that if you love one another, that's the only way that it will be known that we are, God's, we are his disciples, Jesus speaking. So never stop doing good. Always do good. Remember, if you are not lending, you'll borrow. If you are not doing, bad, if you are not doing good, then you find yourself on the other side. Always do good. Number five, never engage in other people's battles. Never engage in other people's battles. Do you know what it means to yank the ears of a dog? Ushayona mutu anaenda kushika mbu wa maskio. Arafu anaanza kuivruta juu. Ita kuuma, it will bite you. That is what it is when you get involved to other people's battles. Picking up battles that doesn't involve you. Picking up arguments and quarrels that doesn't involve you. When you study Proverbs 20 verses 3. The Bible says that it is a mark of honor for a man to avoid strife because any fool will be quick to quarrel. Don't be quick to pick other people's battles, other people's quarrels. Mind your own business. In case of anything, or by any means, you can only be a peacemaker. We have been called to make peace and make peace with all men. Never engage in other people's battles. Without understanding, never judge before you reason to both parties. It's good to adjudicate. I'm a counselor and I can tell you. Many times, a wife will come to report the husband to me as a counselor. And I will tell her, right now I may not have anything to tell you. Give me time to listen to the other party. And when I get them on board, you realize that things are different. Because nobody will go accusing themselves. Everybody would want to show you how demonic the other partner is. But when they are together, you also realize that the person you are dealing with is also not an angel. Never engage in other people's battles without understanding. I'm Joe Wisdom and that is Wisdom Talks. Mm -hmm.